Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. In today's video, we'll discuss how to combine two of the most classic and iconic colors in menswear, blue and gray. Blue and gray are arguably the two most important colors in all of menswear, at least when it comes to assembling your wardrobe. Both of these hues not only play well with various other colors that you might have in your closet, but they also work very well with one another, making them extremely versatile. When executed properly, a pairing of blue and gray will be able to look stylish in both conservative and more bold settings, so today we'll look at the number of different ways that you can pair these two colors together. Perhaps the easiest way to pair blue and gray is to do so in a suit and tie combination. It's often said that when a man first ventures into the world of tailored clothing, or when he gets a job that demands he wear a suit and tie, that a navy blue suit ought to be his first choice. And pairing this blue suit with a gray tie is a surefire way to earn style points. Following along this same line of reasoning, the second suit that a man is often recommended to buy would be a gray one, either in a darker charcoal gray or a slightly lighter medium gray. Here then, one could simply take the opposite approach and pair this gray suit with a blue tie, whether light or dark depending on the shade of the suit. Blue, of course, is a cool color, and gray can often take on a cool tone. Therefore, blue and gray will pair well together in these circumstances. And even if a gray that you may be wearing has some warmer brown tones, that's not anything to be afraid of, because blue and brown also pair very well together, and you can find more about that in our video here. By the way, if you'd like to learn more about cool colors, warm colors, and related terminology, as well as how to leverage these concepts in your outfits, you can find our video on the color wheel here. Meanwhile, if you're curious about why we would recommend a navy blue or a gray suit as some of the first you should own, you can find our video on how many suits we think a man really needs here. So, while wearing blue and gray together in a suit and tie combination may be easiest, it can also be done in a variety of other contexts. Let's take, for example, wearing odd jacket and odd trousers together. If you're just getting started in the world of menswear and are curious to learn how to pair jackets and trousers of different colors together, starting with the blue and gray pairing will be easy. Like the navy suit, the navy blazer is also a staple of menswear, so if you take this and add some gray trousers, you'll have a natural look that's a little bit sportier than a full suit. Furthermore, adding some simple accessories to the ensemble, like a linen pocket skirt square in either plain white or something with a bit more color will ensure that your outfit won't be mistaken for a uniform. Also, additional personality can be added to the outfit by incorporating pattern in some of the other garments, like your shirt or tie. Meanwhile, the opposite of this combination, which is to say a gray sport coat with navy trousers, is perhaps seen a bit more rarely. Still, there's no reason to think you can't pull it off if you follow these general guidelines. The key here is to have a bit of variance in the types of fabrics between your trousers and your jacket. So, for example, if you were wearing more plain blue trousers, you might want to go for a jacket that either has a pattern or some texture to it. Pattern examples for a sport coat might be something like a Glen check or Prince of Wales check, and a textured weave like tweed would also be a good choice. Full suits, as well as combinations of sport coat and odd trousers, are probably the simplest and most basic way to pair blue and gray together. Before we go on with any other suggestions, though, let's go over some more specific do's and don'ts to ensure that you're putting the two colors together properly. Our first tip here is to avoid extreme differences in contrast. Using the example of a darker charcoal gray suit, you might want to avoid an exceptionally pale blue tie. A bit of contrast in your outfits is never a bad thing, of course, but when the overall tones of the colors in your outfits are at almost opposite ends of the spectrum, the cumulative effect for the viewer can be a bit jarring. 
Our next tip, which we have hinted at somewhat already, is to incorporate more pattern and texture into the outfits. Using the example of a suit, you could, of course, start with what we recommended at the beginning, which is to say a plain blue suit, plain gray tie, and perhaps a plain white shirt. This is a bit of a starker outfit, though, and it will get boring quickly. Just by changing out the plain gray tie for a Glen Check model in silk, or perhaps in wool for winter, you'll already be adding a bit more visual interest to the outfit. A medium gray suit might be well complemented by a navy blue tie in grenadine, for example. And if you'd like to learn more about grenadine, you can do so in our article here. And as we already mentioned, adding some texture either to a sport coat in something like tweed, or perhaps in a more casual outfit to the trousers in something like corduroy might also be a good idea. Our final tip here is perhaps the most sophisticated method of pairing blue and gray together, which is to wear items that contain both colors. Choosing a patterned suit would be an easy way to do this. For example, a navy suit with a gray overcheck, or the reverse, a gray suit with a blue overcheck. Also, if wearing a sport coat and odd trouser combination, having a weave that incorporates some blue into gray could also look smart. Silk ties with blue and gray geometric patterns or knit ties that incorporate blue and gray fibers are also good choices. A patterned shirt could also be an option, assuming that the scale of the pattern is harmonizing with the overall formality of the outfit. Bringing all of these ideas together, the outfit I'm wearing today incorporates a small micro-checked blue and gray shirt, also with a bow tie containing a geometric blue pattern over a gray base. So we've covered the basics of suiting and wearing combinations of jackets and trousers, as well as our overall tips on pairing blue and gray. Let's get back into some more specific examples now, talking first about layering further. When discussing layering, we might immediately think of overcoats and sweaters, as well as other items for cold weather, and indeed, these types of garments do present more opportunities for pairing blue and gray together. You could alternate your layers of blue and gray hues, for example, wearing a blue tie, gray sweater vest, and blue jacket, or you could go with large blocks of the same color, like wearing a sweater, trousers, and tie all in blue, and then putting a gray sport coat over top. The same principle can be extended to overcoats. Depending whether the garment is blue or gray, you can try to determine whether it would look best to wear trousers in a similar color or in the opposite color. And of course, when wearing a sweater as its own outer layer, the same general color pairing rules apply as when we discussed sport coats and odd trousers. Incorporating more accessories like gloves, hats, and scarves also provide further opportunity for pairing blue and gray. And again here, you have two broad theories to follow. Let's use the example of a navy overcoat. You could go largely monochromatic and select blue gloves and a blue scarf to wear, or provide some more contrast with a gray scarf and gray gloves. Speaking of which, the Fort Belvedere shop has a wide variety of both gloves and scarves in blue and gray colors as well as others to choose from, and you can find them here. Speaking of our Fort Belvedere offerings, you could also go with a double-sided scarf like this one in dark blue and gray, allowing you to incorporate both colors or just show one, depending on how the scarf is tied. And of course, boutonnieres are a great accessory to incorporate too. You're not going to find many gray flowers, but you'll find various tones of blue, such as the Veronica Persica that I'm wearing today, or something like a blue cornflower that incorporates a bit more of a violet tone. Though blue and gray are usually some of the most conservative colors in menswear in most applications, a bolder choice would be to wear either of these colors in your footwear. Dark navy oxfords might be a good choice with a more conservative suit, as they might at first look like standard black shoes, but upon closer inspection do incorporate just a bit of added color. 
If you're looking for something bolder, though, you could go for a shoe in a true blue. Say, for example, a hole-cut Oxford or maybe a monk strap shoe. These would go well with a gray suit. Polished leather shoes in blue might look good with a sport coat and odd trouser combination, but your best bet in terms of wide availability for blue shoes are probably going to be navy loafers in suede. Pairing blue shoes of any sort with blue trousers can be a bit trickier, but you should be able to pull it off as long as the two colors are relatively similar in brightness. If you'd like something that would be maximally versatile with blue and gray outfits, though a bit bolder, you could try to find a spectator shoe that incorporates blue and gray. Solid gray shoes are even more rare, whether in leather or suede, and they can be trickier to pair with your outfits. Gray leather shoes are often going to be on the lighter side, and for this reason they can be awkward to pair with navy trousers due to that high contrast principle we discussed previously. Therefore, a gray shoe that is slightly darker in color, more toward the medium to charcoal end of the spectrum, might be more versatile. For example, the gray suede shoes I'm wearing today are medium gray, slightly darker than my trousers, and therefore serve to ground the outfit somewhat. Of course, if you're not quite ready yet to make the leap to blue or gray shoes, you could also spice up an outfit by adding shoe laces in those colors. For example, you might want to put gray laces on a pair of black Oxfords to make them a bit less formal, or you could put blue laces on a pair of brown shoes to make them more playful. And as you might have guessed, Fort Belvedere also offers shoe laces in various colors, and you can find them here. And on the topic of footwear options, socks are also a natural way to incorporate some blue and gray into your outfits. For a more conservative look, try to match the color of your socks to those of your trousers, and for a more playful look, you could go for more contrast. In either scenario, though, we wouldn't necessarily recommend trying to match the color of your socks to your shoes. Again here, wearing socks that do contain both colors, for example, blue and gray shadow striped models, would be a good choice. Finally here, though we do focus on classic style at the Gentleman's Gazette, we would be remiss in this video not to mention perhaps the most commonly seen piece of blue clothing that anyone owns, denim blue jeans. For a more casual look, jeans can certainly be paired with a jacket, providing you're hitting some general bases to make sure the outfit isn't overly casual. Dark wash denim is best for slightly more formality. Of course, the jeans shouldn't have any distressing. And the jacket should be slightly more casual, like something in an unstructured cotton or, again, a wool tweed. And as denim shirts have become more popular too, you might take one of these in a medium wash, pair it with a dark navy jacket and some gray trousers, as well as perhaps some blue suede loafers, and have another good casual outfit. And if you've got questions about any of these concepts, we've got videos on pairing jackets with jeans, finding the best denim for your body type, and denim shirts, which you can all find here. There's a reason why blue and gray are probably the two most fundamental colors often seen in menswear. They're both relatively neutral, and they're maximally versatile in combining with a wide variety of outfits. Therefore, it stands to reason that they should go exceptionally well together. Those who are new to color coordination can use them to create fundamentally sound outfits with minimal anxiety, and those who are more advanced in their menswear journey can come back to pairing them together as a constant while continuing to experiment. And if today's video has inspired you to look into further color pairings, we've got an entire playlist on that subject, which you can find here. In today's video, I'm trying to exemplify many of the concepts we discussed. Most of my outfit elements have blue and gray in them. The largest of these would be my blue jacket and gray trousers. The jacket is a bit lighter than a standard navy, probably in something more like a medium to even a royal blue. It's plain in color to ground the trousers, which have a bit more texture in their weave. 
As mentioned previously, my shirt features a micro-check pattern in light blue and dark gray, perhaps even almost black, but everything is working harmoniously within the color pairing. My bow tie is one of our jacquard weave silk models from the Fort Belvedere shop in a color that we call Battleship Gray, and it has blue diamond accents. Also from Fort Belvedere are my Veronica Persica Boutonniere in light blue and my white linen pocket square which features a blue contrasting X stitch. My socks are from Fort Belvedere too, they're gray and feature a contrasting light blue shadow stripe, and my shoes are gray suede darbies from Heinrich Dinkelwacker. As an added bonus today, my suspenders are also in a blue color even though they wouldn't normally be seen. And you can find all of the accessories featured in today's video in the Fort Belvedere shop here.